now 20 weeks gestational age of this uh, ultrasound, optetic ultrasound. This is the urinary bladder, cervix, this cervical canal, this is the cervix also. The cervical canal is dilated, dilated and fluid filled up to 12.2 mm and uh, as we move further from this cervix we see a uh, large fibroid worldly appearance with uh, no vas significant vascularity. It extends from the epigastric region. Now I am at the epigastric region and uh, from the epigastric region when I move the probe down in, in the center and then longitudinal now and now down into the at the umbilical region and here uh, here in the pelvic region you see a fetus and placenta as well. There is, uh, this is a case of intrauterine fetal demise. This is the femur. This is the femur. It's 20 weeks gestational age. And uh, here you see the head of the fetus. And this, here is the placenta. The placenta is small. Here. And it is because of this uh, huge fibroid that has compressed the fetal supply. This is the placenta. This area is placenta. This is the fetal. These are the fetal parts. Now this is the this is the head of the fetus. This one showing you overlapping of the skull bones, called, uh, named as the spalding sign. No blood flow seen, and there is no cardiac activity. No amniotic fluid seen. This is the body. Here. And we do not see any blood flow. This is the body. Here is the head. Here is the placenta. This one. This area in the box is the placenta. We do not see any umbilical cord. This umbilical cord has been compressed. The supply to the fetus has been uh, disrupted because it's a huge mass that and relating to the anterior myometrium and then compressing the uh, <coughs> fetus. Here you can see both the placenta. This is the placenta, the fetus, the fibroid, anterior wall fibroid, a large fibroid, unmeasurable in one scanning plan. It uh, is expanding on both sides of the flanks and a cause for the uh, demise of the uh, fetus. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.